Hey Jake, how's my bro's first semester at THE Ohio State University going? Are you behaving yourself? You know me, sis. I'm a good boy. In bed by nine every night. Uh-huh. Sure. Well, just don't end up being one of those freshmen I see on the news. Don't worry. I'm not like some of these other pledges. Some of these dudes are total morons. Pledges? Oh my god, you're pledging? Well, yeah. Of course. Why wouldn't I? I just think it's crazy. Someone from our family, a frat boy at Ohio State. Sorry, THE Ohio State? Yeah, you better get it right. I'm really proud of you, kiddo. Getting a scholarship, getting out of our podunk town. You've really made the family proud. Really? Even dad? Are you kidding? Especially dad. Well, he has a funny way of showing it. He has a hard time showing his emotions, but believe me, I know how proud of you he is. So when are you going to come and see me? Well, I don't know, Jake. Aren't you a little busy with school right now? Yeah, well, I suppose you're right. Hey, maybe when you do see me, I'll be a genuine frat boy. So what are the boys like, Jake? What do you mean? The frat bros? So they are the stereotypical, shirtless, sweaty, drunken, vaguely homoerotic sect? Well, yeah, basically. They aren't making you do anything too dangerous, are they? They better not be talking my stupid little brother into doing something stupid. Nah, just the usual stuff, you know? Making me tell them my deepest secrets and then punching me in the face. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah, and running through the Russian paddling gauntlet. And, uh, what might the Russian paddling gauntlet be? Well, first you take a double shot of vodka, then you run down a line of dudes as they all spank you with big paddles with holes in them. <sighs> be careful, Jake. I will be, I will be. Hey, you were in a sorority, weren't you? Um, yeah, but I didn't have to get spanked by a bunch of girls to get in. Oh, really? That's too bad. Ugh, shut up. In your dreams. But seriously, you have a lot of potential, Jake. Don't waste it away on booze and partying. I won't, I won't. And don't let these people influence you. Remember who you are. And who am I? I thought I came to university to figure that out. Well, you're not a moron. At least you're not a frat boy moron. So don't let me down, okay? Okay, okay. I won't. You're a pain in the butt, but you're a great big sister. You know that? Yeah, of course I know. Nora, something terrible has happened. Oh no, Dad. What's going on? It's your brother. It's Jake. He's in the hospital. He's in critical condition. Oh my god. What happened? What's going on? Well, we really don't know exactly. He's unconscious. But his supposed friends, those other guys in the frat, brought him into the ER at 4 a.m. this morning. He was covered in paint and markers. Just drunker than I thought anyone could ever be. The doctors told us it was three times the legal limit. Oh my god, Dad. I know, I know. They're flushing him out right now. But that isn't even the worst of it. He... He fell down the stairs. Or that was the story. Stairs? What stairs? The frat house has two floors, apparently. Or at least this is what the boy said. He slipped and fell. He was just... Drunk, and he fell. Well, what are his injuries? Broken arm, broken shoulder, broken leg, ribs, punctured lung, concussion, fractured skull. Oh my god, Dad. Is he... is he going to be okay? Well, honey, we just don't know right now. I just don't understand how this could have happened. How could he have been so stupid? He was pledging. I'm sure that's what it was. Pledging for the fraternity? They probably got him wasted and pushed him down the stairs or something. But they said he fell down the stairs. Dad. Oh, well, I guess you're right. It does seem kind of obvious now in hindsight. Where are those kids now? 
Well, I guess they went back to their house after they dropped him off. One stuck around for a little while after we got here, but he left pretty quickly after he got his story straight with us. What was his name? Do you remember? God, I don't know, Nora. Everything's happening so fast. Think, Dad, think! Hold on. Uh, let me ask your mother. She says it was Gideon. Gideon what? Snaggletooth. Snaggletooth? Like the goblin? Yeah, like the goblin, she says. Why? What are you going to do? Aren't you going to come in here and see your brother? Well, he's unconscious, isn't he? Well, yeah, he's in a medically induced coma right now. Okay. Well, is he stable? Yeah, he's stable. Okay. Well, then I think I could be more of use to him in this way. Yeah, but in what way? I have to go to that frat house, Dad. I have to gather evidence of whatever happened before those morons destroy it. Okay, well, be careful, honey. I don't want you getting pushed down any stairs. Don't worry, Dad. This won't be the first time I deal with frat boys. Hi, is this Gideon? Uh, yeah, who is this? This is Nora, Jake's sister. Oh, hi. Hi, Nora. Uh, how's he doing? Well, he's pretty messed up, actually. But I guess you know that. Yeah, well, we just don't know what happened. I just woke up around four and he was lying on the bottom of the stairs. Oh, really? You do know that I was just at your frat house, right? Uh, yeah, they told me. Who told you? Handlebar. Handlebar. And why do they call him Handlebar? Because of the mustache, I assume? Well... Uh, no, actually, it's because he got really drunk his first week here and flew over the handlebars of a bike. Oh, well, that would explain a few things. Yeah, well, he did hit his head pretty good. Listen, Gideon. You can call me Maddie. Everyone here does. I think I'm just gonna stick with Gideon, if you don't mind. Uh, okay. So you're telling me that my little brother fell down the stairs? Well, yeah. He just sort of slipped tripped down the stairs? Well, like I told you, nobody saw it happen. I just got up and found him like that. And then what happened? What did you do after you found him? Oh, well, uh, me and some of the other guys, we picked him up. You picked him up? Uh, well, yeah. Why did you pick him up? Um, well, I mean, how else were we supposed to get him to the couch? Why didn't you just call an ambulance right away? Um, well... You know you aren't supposed to move someone who could possibly have head trauma, right? Well, how was I supposed to know that he had head trauma? You just said that he fell down the stairs. Well, it didn't look like he'd hit his head to us. He had a fractured skull. He... he did? Yes, and a broken arm, broken shoulder, ribs, broken leg, a punctured lung, and a concussion. Oh my god, is... is he dead? What? No. I just told you what was wrong with him. Tell me he's alive. Tell me he isn't dead. He's alive. He's alive. Jeez. Okay, well good. But I really don't think I should be talking to you anymore. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, actually, I'm just going to have to hang up right now. But why? Well... I can't give you any more details about what happened. But why? Well, because I need to call my parents. And why do you need to call your parents? Uh, so they can call their lawyers? And why would they have to call their lawyers? So if your brother dies, we won't get blamed for it. Is it that hard to figure out? Bye. Wait, Gideon, wait. Hey, Dad. How's Jake doing? Well, he's still stable, but he's still in the ICU. The doctor said they think he's going to be okay, but he'll need lots of help along the way. A lot of physical therapy. Oh, thank God. Is he conscious yet? Is he talking? No, he's still in the coma. But the doctors are talking about maybe taking him out of it today. We'll see what happens then. See if he remembers anything. Well... With the amount of booze he had in him, I doubt he'll be able to remember the last two weeks. 
Oh, well. Any luck with the frat bros? Did you get to the house? Yeah, I went there. What a crop hole. I can't believe anyone could live like that. Much less my little brother. Could you see any evidence of the fall? Well, I mean, I guess there were skid marks on the banister and wall, and a big dent in the front door. Oh, God. But I mean, with that house, it could have happened at any time. What about the kids? Did you talk to that Matt kid? Yeah, he's one slick little turd, let me tell you. Ew, come on, Nora, I'm eating. Oh, well, sorry, I didn't know you were eating. We're talking over text, remember? Well, anyway, what did he say? Well, first of all, he said they moved him after he slipped or whatever. Oh, God, they moved him? Don't they know anything? Well, obviously not. I can't believe they didn't do more damage than they already did. What else did you find out? Well, I don't know. Not much. He pretty much shut up after he realized the extent of Jake's injuries. So you told him? Uh, yeah. Sorry. I was mad. Well, that's okay. I understand. I'm pretty freaking pissed too. But what do we have to go on then to nail these little suckers? Well, there is one thing. Oh yeah? What is it? There's security cameras in the house. Oh really? Where? How many? Well, I'm not sure, but there was definitely one above the stairs. Well, damn. Then pay dirt. Yeah, but first we have to get access to those cameras. How are we going to do that? Well, I suppose we need a warrant. Yeah, I suppose we do. Which means we need a lawyer, I guess. Yeah, of course we do. Well, we're just a humble little family from the sticks. These kids in this frat have serious money. How are we going to be any match against them in court? I think I might have someone. Oh yeah? Who? She handled my friend Mara's traffic case a while ago. Oh yeah? Is she reputable? Nope. Caroline Meadowbrook, attorney at law. How may the Constitution serve you today? Oh, hello, Miss Meadowbrook. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me today. Your secretary said that you were very busy. Me? Who am I? And who might you be? Oh, um, well, Nora Tackett. 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 Oh, yes, the frat boy case. Yes, that's right. Now that's all I remember about it, so please refresh my memory. Well, my little brother Jake just started his freshman year at Ohio State. You mean THE Ohio State? Uh, yes, THE Ohio State. And anyway, he was pledging for his stupid fraternity and he slipped. Or was pushed down the stairs. Pushed, slipped, fell. Well, which was it? Well, I don't know how you can slip and get a broken arm, broken shoulder, ribs, broken leg, punctured lung, concussion, and a fractured skull. Damn, and this boy is still alive? Yep, somehow he is. Even with the blood alcohol content three times the legal limit. Man, your little brother is a mess. I know. Believe me, we'll be having a good long talk with him about all of that. So who would you say is responsible for all of this besides your brother? For letting them do this to him? Yeah, well, believe me, he'll be learning his lesson. And it was the other frat guys. The one who pushed him. Allegedly. The ones who moved him around after they did it. Wait, so they moved him after the incident? Yep. Lord, what idiots. And they said he slipped? But I've gone to the house. You went to the house? When did you go to the house? The morning after. Oh, well, okay. And what did you see? Well, a big dent in the front door when my brother would have landed. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and what else? Well, security cameras. Security cameras, huh? Where did you see the security cameras? Right above the stairs. Right above the stairs? Right above. Oh my. Well, that, that could be very helpful to our case. So we have a case? You'll take it? Well, of course I'll take it. I work for the little man. It would be a low-down, dirty shame if blue-collar families such as yourself were to be trampled by the privileges of the rich. Well, yeah, exactly. That's how I feel about it, too. Thank you. 
It would be a miscarriage of justice to allow these young heathens to get away with this. Egregious. Horrendous. Outrageous. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It is outrageous. So what do we do next? How do we get these guys? Well, first we've got to get our hands on those tapes. Nora, how are you? Caroline Meadowbrook here. Oh, hi, Miss Meadowbrook. How are you? How's your little brother doing? Your father told me that his condition is improving. Yes, slowly and steadily. Thank God he's still young. But these hospital bills are going to be insane. I just want to get this case behind us so we can focus on healing, you know? Yes, well, that's what I want to do, but... What's wrong, Miss Meadowbrook? You seem kind of... Off? Well, to be honest, we could do better. Oh no. What's going on? I just got word back from Terry Berry Ferry and Drew about those security tapes. The one from the camera above the stairs. Yeah, and? Wiped clean. What? What do you mean, wiped clean? They weren't running that night or at all? Oh no, they were running. They were running just fine. But somehow the footage has just disappeared into thin air. No way. This is ridiculous. This is total bullcrap. They buried it. I agree, off the record. Well, what can we do then? That footage was our whole case. Everything else is just circumstantial. Yes, yes, I know, I know. But they can't get away with this, Miss Meadowbrook. That is just totally wrong. We have to do something. There must be something that we can do. Well, there's one person who could help us. Well, who? Who are they? Let's find them. He's someone who could possibly help us access whatever's on those tapes. But you said that they've been wiped. How can you get anything from them now? Oh, come now. Nothing is totally wiped these days. Not with the cloud. Nothing is ever truly gone. Not if you have your hands on a true tech genius at the reins. What do you mean? Well, there is this person that I have do some work for me every once in a while. A man. Oh, a man. He's very good at what he does. He could hack into anything, any mainframe, any cloud, but he comes with a hefty fee usually. Although sometimes he does some pro bono work for the right clients, but I can't contact him. You can't? Why can't you? Well, what he does isn't always through legal means if you catch my drift. What are you saying? That he's like a criminal or something? Well, he's never been convicted of a crime, if that's what you're asking. Uh-huh. Right. So you're saying that I'm going to have to contact this guy? Yes, but I must warn you, this man is very private. You must approach him with the utmost discretion. Okay. Well, what's this guy's name? Henry Computer Repair. How may I repair your computer today? Is this Henry? Mm, yes, it is. Would you happen to have a computer and need a fixing? Banana split? Um, excuse me? Banana split. That's the password, right? Banana split? Um, uh, password for what? Oh, 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 sorry. Banana split for specialized repair? Please, hold for a secure line. Um, okay. Um, hello? Is anyone there? Hello, Nora. This is Henry. So nice to finally speak with you. The lawyer told me all about your case. Oh, uh, Henry, thank you so much for taking the time with me today. Seriously. Well, of course. I always enjoy providing my services to people in need. Especially people who are being attacked by the likes of frat boys. So you can't stand them either, huh? I'm a nerd, Nora. Of course, I can't. Those types terrorized me my entire childhood and adolescence. That's why I want to help you pro bono. Wait, seriously? You mean it? Well, to be honest, Nora, I have had great success ever since I struck out on my own here. Broke free of working all those miserable tech support jobs. Now, on my own going rogue. I can help people the way I want to with free reign. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think I do. Now, of course, we've all seen these stories on the news. Kids being hazed. Permanent brain damage, bound to wheelchairs, lives forever altered. Sometimes those responsible pay, sometimes they don't. Your brother is a bit of a moron, yes? 
Well, uh, he's actually a really smart guy. He's just young. And I think he just kind of got caught up with the wrong crowd. Well, who else but the moron drinks a bottle of vodka and lets other boys beat him up, though? Okay, yes, you have a point. That culture really does need to change. Nevertheless, change only comes from accountability, and there can be no accountability with swiped security cameras. So what do we do? Can you get the footage back? Of course, I can get the footage back. Who do you think you're talking to? Believe me, it would be my eternal pleasure to bring down the privileged dogs that covered up your brother's death. Oh, wait, he's not dead. He's not? No, no, he's gonna be okay. Oh, well, I thought the lawyer said that he died. No, no, he didn't die. But he came pretty close to dying. Oh, well, okay then. But they still covered it up, right? Well, yeah, they covered it up. Okay, great. Then it would be my eternal pleasure to bring down the privileged dogs that cover up your brother's almost death. Okay, great. You are welcome. You are welcome. Nora, wonderful news. What? What's going on? I just got a call from Gideon's parents' lawyer. Guess who wants to settle? What? Oh my god, are you kidding? For how much? The full amount, that's how much. But how did this happen? I thought Henry was... Shh. Who? I don't know anybody by that name. And neither do you. Oh, right, right. Apparently the footage from the stereo camera was not totally wiped. Apparently, a little birdie found it in the cloud and carried it all the way to my office doorstep. And then I carried it straight to Terry Berry Ferry and Drew's office. And boy, you should have seen their faces. Oh my god, this is incredible. Thank you so much, Miss Meadowbrook. How can I ever repay you? Don't mention it. Please call me Francis. Alright, well, Francis, thank you. You just tell your little brother of yours to make sure he keeps away from bad influences, you understand? Yes, Francis. I'll make sure of it. Hey there, big sis. How are you doing? Jake? Is that you? Oh my god, you're awake! Yep, it's me. I'm awake. I think. I'm alive, right? I mean, mom and dad tell me I'm alive, but I'm not so sure. Do you have any idea what happened? Um, well, some of it, yeah. And what do you remember? Well, I remember enough to know that you'll be mad at me for it. Look, Jake, I'm just happy that you're okay. That you're alive, for God's sake. Do you know how lucky you are? Yeah, well, I know. No, actually, I really don't think you do. I don't think you have any idea how lucky you are. Frankly, Jake, you should be dead. Hey, I thought you just said you were happy I was alive. Well, I take it back now. I'm mad again. What the hell were you thinking? Well, I... I wanted to pledge. So you drank what? An entire bottle of vodka? I don't remember. I blacked out well before that. And do you remember anything about what happened? Anything about the stairs? No. Nothing. Did Mom and Dad tell you how you got to the hospital? Well, they said that the other guys took me in. Yeah, more like dragged you. Well... Maddie's a pretty responsible dude. I'm sure he took really good care of me. Jake, Maddie is a total snake. What? What do you mean? I mean, as soon as he found out how hurt you were, he said his family started lawyering up. What? They... they did? But I thought he said I slipped. Yeah, well... I'm starting to get the sneaking suspicion that your injuries are a little more consistent with you getting pushed. And so is our lawyer. Our lawyer? You hired us a lawyer? Who? A little old country lawyer by the name of Caroline Meadowbrook. You... you got Caroline Meadowbrook in my case? That's right. Only the best for my little brother. Well... Who do they have? Um, Terry, Barry, Fairy, and Drew? Oh, crap. It's okay. It's okay. We have a secret weapon. A wild card, if you will. 
an ace up our sleeve. Just shut up and tell me what it is. Well, it's the security cameras. Security cameras? What security cameras? There's a security camera right above the stairs. What? That old thing? I'm not even sure that thing works. Wait, I think it was on. I think I remember Maddie saying something about how he wanted us to set it up in the sorority house bathroom. I think I'll be ready to go back and pledge in no time. Jake, ugh, you are not going back to a frat, Jake. Just kidding. You better be. Yeah, I think I've already taken enough chances with all of that. Maybe I've used up a few of my nine lives, huh? Believe me, you're not missing much being in a frat. Do you really want to be associated with guys like that? Well, I thought I did, but maybe I was just being insecure. What do you mean, Jake? What were you so insecure about? I guess... I just mean, maybe I felt bad about being from a small town, about not being rich like those guys. So maybe I was just trying to show off, show them how cool I was, you know? By drinking half a gallon of vodka and letting Maddie put you down the stairs? Well, you live and you learn, I guess. I got my lesson, you know? You better be, Jake. Anyway, we got the camera and everything is as clear as day. Really? Um, did you see the footage? Yeah, and it was freaking horrible. You don't ever want to see it, believe me. Did mom and dad see it? Uh, dad saw it, and mom, she couldn't handle it. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. Well, it looks like Maddie is getting expelled along with the others. And there's pretty much a 100% chance they face charges, Mrs. Meadowbrook says. So, all's well that ends well, I guess. At least those dishes will be off the streets. Yeah, I guess so. Thank God for security cameras, right? Yeah. So, are you still mad at me, sis? A bit, yeah. So how are you feeling now? Better every day. After the frat was closed, Maddie and the other boys were charged with reckless endangerment, a felony assault, and underage possession of alcohol. Maddie was given the brunt of the judge's wrath, as it was clear from the security camera footage that he was the one who pressured Jake the most that night, and he was the one who pushed him down the stairs. He was given six months in county jail and three years probation, and is currently living at home with his parents and attending his local community college where he is failing all of his classes and not getting laid. Jake made a full recovery from his injuries and went back to school the following spring. He did not join another frat. Nora decided to go back to school and become a paralegal. She chose THE Ohio State University and her and Jake split rent on an apartment to save money. After graduating, she got a job working in Frances Meadowbrook's office. Henry is still out there stalking the cybersphere, seeking justice for all us sinners wrong.